Welcome to Max ECU Training Part 5. This video, we're going to be taking a look at working with our data logging feature within our Mtune software. Now, the data logging can be captured in two different ways. We can do a laptop data log when we have our laptops connected to our Max ECU and stream the data out and record it to a file format. Alternatively, we can also work with onboard data logging where we have a memory portion on the max ecu that can store certain channels at a certain sampling rates that we can play back at a later point in time we're going to be covering how to work with both laptop data logging how to work with our onboard data logging setting the proper channels and the frequency rates we're also going to be taking a look at setting up and looking at our log viewer within our mtune software so we can display and take a look at our log data properly there's a lot of things to cover within this video so let's jump in so we can check this out okay so let's get started we're going to be taking a look at working with our data logging using our mtune software in conjunction with our max ecus now data logging is going to be one of the most important fundamental things that we have to learn how to work with and, and interface with in order to successfully do any kind of tuning or calibrating with our max ecu if you can't data log, if you don't understand the process of data logging and capturing your data, playing it back and reviewing it properly, you're never going to be able to make accurate changes in your fuel or spark timing tables or boost control tables or whatever you're trying to uh, go in and calibrate. Data logging is going to be an essential integrated part of our calibration process. Now we have two ways we can data log. We have both a PC or laptop style data logging when we're actually connected to our Max ECUs with our laptops. We also alternatively have an onboard style data logging where we have an onboard memory uh, portion on the Max ECU that can capture data that we're gonna be specifying specific channels and logging speeds but can play back at a later point in time. We're gonna be talking about both in this video, understanding how to work with an interface, uh, again, a, a PC and a onboard data logging and the, the where they have a place in the tuning process because they're very specific um, in, in working with either. Now, let's just talk about data logging here, just in general, and what we're trying to do. Data logging is going to be taking the live information that we have, all the channels and data information from our Max ECU and storing them into a file format. By storing them into a file format, it's allowing us to play back that data to review it at any point in time. You can think of a data log as capturing a video with a video camera. We can play back what happened in 10 or 20 or 30 seconds, however long we were filming for, and we can analyze that specific video for looking for uh, whatever we'd like to in that video. Maybe it's going to be a certain a part where someone was talking, or maybe something happened, maybe there was an action sequence that we filmed, and we wanted to go and review that, those specific areas of interest. Same exact idea here with the data log. We're capturing data that we want to play back and be able to review at a later point in time. So if we're looking here, at our live information down here at the bottom. We can see we have our channels. They're starting to stream our data and enter information. Um, we can take a look here that uh, something like our intake air temp or coolant temp, that's registering what the temperature is reading on the sensors right now. And I do have the vehicle powered on. It's not running. And I have my max ECU obviously powered on with the vehicle and that's why we're connected. We are in the online status. So we're looking at our information live streaming coming right out of the max ECU. Now, when we're taking a look at this information, this is useful to see at a visual glance what is going on with our very important channels of data that we'd like to look at. But the problem is going to be here if I, let's say we're running our engine in five minutes from now, um, I'm not going to remember what a particular channel was reading. That's where the data log is going to come into play. It's going to allow me to record all of the channels. So if we take a look here at our real-time information, we'll record all of these channels, there's hundreds of them, to a file format that we can play back again at a later point in time for analyzing purposes. So data logging is gonna be PC logging, specifically here as we're talking about in our first portion of the video, is very important. Um, PC logging is gonna be what we use primarily to do all of our calibration, especially on a dyno, if we're making dyno pools, we'll be using our PC style data logging very heavily, even doing road tuning. Now let's take a look here at how, do we, how we can actually initiate and start the data log. So what we want to do is start a recording. Same idea as if we have a video camera, we start the recording and start to actually uh, record um, the, the portion that we want to film. The same idea here, we're recording the portion that we want to actually capture into a file format. So if we move up to the top, we have our icons here. We have a couple icons specific to our data logging. This one is going to be showing open log files. That allows us to open the data log file that we've captured into a separate window. We're going to be talking about that a little bit later in the video here. We have a, a second option here, starts recording on a log on the PC. This initiates our actual PC or laptop data logging. Uh, we can start the recording and stop the recording from this button right here. 
Now this is going to allow us to retrieve onboard data logs. We'll be talking about that here in a few minutes. That's not going to be the same here as a PC style or laptop data log. So the onboard logging is going to be used in pretty much racing conditions. The PC or laptop style data logging is going to be used in most other situations when we're actually connected with our laptop and we want to stream our data and being able to capture that to a file format. So let's go up here and initiate a data log. So right now we can see if I press this record button, notice that it's going to prompt me up to save the log file as a specific name. Now the default in the log files, as we can find here, is going to be log, the date, the month, uh, or the year, I should say, the month, the date, and then a time stamping. Now we can find down here, that's going to initiate the, the actual uh, file name here. Now we can change this. If we don't want it to save to a, a date, month, year, and time stamp style data log, we can go in and label this whatever we'd like for a customized name. It's going to prompt us up to save the data log before we actually start the data logging process and capturing the data. That gets it out of the way. That makes sure that you have to save the data log um, and that you can play it back. A lot of times, a lot of other systems, you can start to initiate a PC or laptop style data log. And then when you're done, you can simply start to record again. But if you don't save that data. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here. And you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel. So make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.